And these are old Jamboree Raleigh. So we got the roof thing up. And now we're just looking at this, and you would look at it and you'd say, hey, that doesn't look so bad. We're going to show you. You can see this lip right here. Somebody, you can see it moving. Somebody had redecked this. We're going to show you some of the problems around the other side. Look at here. It's coming right up. Looks to me like somebody had shot it down with some staples. There's something right here, right there. So all they did was pin it down with some staples. I don't know what that's going to hold. It's not going to stay to anything. Looks like we got some rot in here. So this is all failed. So we should be able to dig that out right in the side there and replace that. You got some delamination right here. This is what the delamination is on here. There's a sheet in there too behind here, behind the phylon. And if water gets down here, then the fiberglass it'll warp and that's same thing delamination it's delaminating from the sheathing but this is delaminating from the plies this is one ply here there's another in there you can see it's three ply you can see them right in there so that's where it's delaminating I me mean, it's coming unglued so we'll have to peel all that up more of it here so all this is going to come up I want to see what's underneath there a lot of times these service centers they tell you you need to uh, redeck your roof because it's delaminated or or it's bad well I like to see underneath here it does look like it's bad up underneath here right here you can see that thing so we want to take that up and we want to dry it we want to get that dry and a lot of times we just want to fix this or skin over this and we'll laminate another piece so this is too thick anyways this is five millimeter right here and it's leaving an edge so that's where the roofing, they, all they did to protect the edge is use masking tape. So, and it was rubber. So that's just not good. You can see there, it's coming right up. So we're going to check everything out and see what we got for damage along the whole thing as soon as we get the vents up. And typically we take the whole roof up, the material itself, just to see what's up underneath it, what we have for repairs, what we may need. Not sure what that's there for. Got another one over here. So I don't know if that was intended to try to get this to bite down. Maybe that big washer was supposed to sit up here. I don't know. But like I said, all they did, and you can see right here, it's splitting apart. That's because they didn't glue it down. And again, they used more masking tape. That's just masking tape on here. There's your staple. That's all they did. They used these tiny little staples to hold it to another piece. That's it, just that little bit to try to bite into here. And then this is a, a ply foam roof. The original one is ply foam. So you tear this piece up under here. If you tear that one up, then you have foam up underneath there. And we've done quite a few of these. There's plenty of them on our video. Um, there's a, I think it's a four wind siesta that we did. Uh, Georgetown is another one we did. There's quite a few of them that are all delaminated. So. Like you said, well, we're going to tear all this up and see what's going on and fix the original roof back the way it should be because this is done wrong anyways. You know, we want it to stay tight. We want to be able to warranty it. We can't do that with this on here. So we'll keep you posted. I'm back here at uh, Jamboree. So we've got all the components off the roof right now. And now what we're doing is just taking off the this decking like we told you we'd take off. Meanwhile, while eating snacks, evidently, up here. Um... You see how much damage we had. This is a skylight. This is where a lot of water had come from. Where's the lid to this? When you find it, yeah, bring it back up. And then, so we're gonna take all this out. We're gonna tear all this out. This is the original. And this is a ply foam roof. See the foam under there? So we're just gonna take out all that rot that's bad and we're gonna relaminate it. We've done quite a few of these on different videos. Uh, I know the Siesta Four Winds was uh, one that we've got posted. Uh, we did a bounder, we did a coachman, there's quite a few of them up there. So that's what we're looking at right here. But we're going to show you this lid of why it leaks and why we don't like these lids. These guys.
got it right here. There you go. So, here's a lid that we took off of there. Look at this lid. There's no flange to it. See? So it's really hard to seal. You can't really seal that. They just wadded up butyl, but it's really thin right here where you don't have enough flange to put any even butyl or anything to seal it out properly. So what they do is they put these screws in and they're kind of really on an angle, you know, going through there. That isn't really a good flange enough to actually get it to seat properly. And these always leak. Every time they come in the shop, we have to replace these lids. And that's the way the RV industry makes them. I don't know why they don't make them now with a flange. Uh, some of them have them, but we see these come in from time to time. And like I said, we just get rid of them, we'll have to get a new one. Obviously we'll build a curb for it, and then it'll sit up when we get the new one, but that one's, we're getting rid of it. So, you can see some of the damage we have here. When we get this all pulled apart, we'll show you more of what we got going on. But this whole edge, this is abandoned here. You can see it's all rotted down inside there. So, it's all rotted here as well. All the way down, all the way down the, the whole front there is all rotted as well so we're going to end up replacing this one the other side look look pretty good the one on the uh, passenger side look well so we're okay with that one and uh yeah we, we you might have caught that we got another jamboree over there too that's the next one we'll be taking apart as well so this one's just a little bigger than that one hopefully we don't have the same problems with that one over there but, uh, so we're going to keep you updated. We're going to take some of this off and we'll show you the mess we uncover and then again we'll re-laminate it all back together. That's the way it's supposed to be done. And a lot of these RV centers, they put these this piece on here, shall I say this new piece. You know, this one, this is just 5 millimeter Luam. They're going to put that on there. And what, in this case, what they did is they just used little staples to hold it down. And then I showed you that in the earlier clip. That's it. That's This thing will pop right up. So... That's not going to hold it. It needs to be glued. That's where you get the strength of the whole roof and the whole coach assembly. It needs to be adhered together. So, there, there they are right there, those little staples. Look how small those are. That's, like, that's only a 5 8 staple. And going through, it's not quite quarter inch, but it, for all practical purposes, we'll say quarter inch. You don't have anything. That's like barely even 3 eighths of an inch biting right there on that thing. So, that's not going to hold anything. So we'll be back with more rot and updates. Okay, so here's some more that we uncovered right here. Look at this whole bunk is rotted out on this jamboree. That is just a mess. So we're going to have to tear this bunk apart, rebuild the bunk as well, and put all that back together. But that is something right there. And some of that was due to this uh, corner mold that came around here. There's a piece of aluminum trim, they call it corner mold, that came around there. And it was too, sh that phylon, which is the fiberglass, are too short. And you can see where they cocked right there. See the white? That's where they cocked it because it was too short. And I'm sure they did that at the factory. I've had them come in like that before where the factory has cut them short and then they just try to fill it with caulking and then all that water just flows right down through there and just rots all of that out in there and just pours in and once you start getting moisture in it'll loosen this up that up this up so these screws here the uh, owner of the coach he tried to rebuild the inside there and he was actually surprised to see all this damage when we showed it to him he swore he got all that together and what he did was stitched that piece from the face and then tried to seal that so, and that may have contributed right there. They look like they're sealed, but it doesn't take very much before you start getting some water in there. So we're going to fix that up too. We'll do something with that so it looks a little cleaner than having all those screws going through it. All right, we're back at our jamboree. We're going to put a new layer on here. We're going to relaminate this roof back together. So some of the things that we noticed right here, and you can see all these grooves right here see them so what somebody you can see how this is all concaved in here and this is all eaten out that's all eaten out you can really look at it and just tell that this is not sitting right so what the problem was somebody tried to fix this section 
And when they tried to fix it, they used a glue that was not compatible with this foam, and it literally ate the foam. It disintegrated it. That's why you have all these marks in here. So we're going to foam all this back together the right way, the way it should be. But So what they put on there just did not help and did not work. So we're going to glue it all back together, foam it all back together, and uh, that's what we're working on. Replacing this board down here, we used a composite because there's going to be a lot of screws, and all these screws are pretty much lined up on the same elevation in a row. So if we start putting it in with a regular piece of wood, I don't want a chance splitting it. So that's why we're going to put the composite in. And uh, so we got all that done down there, and that's what we're doing. We got a tarp on the other side, which drapes down so we can protect it. We're going to get one on this side, and uh, that's us. We're going to be back. Okay, back here at our Jamboree Raleigh. We got the roof deck down. So we've got some extra foam adhesive in there, which we built up. You can see it's coming out pretty good. We do that on purpose to try to keep the joints tight. That particular one is a vent anyway, so we just be spraying it in a hole and have to clean it out later. Then we just put these strips down the side. That's just to kind of hold this down in place until it cures out. We'll probably even just leave them there because it don't, doesn't matter whether we take them out or not. But uh, we'll see how it fits. If, uh, if we have to, we'll take them out. So that's where we're at so far. Uh, and again, we're just going to wait and go back and clean all these joints up and then the roof goes down. We're ready to rock and roll. Now, this is our jamboree, the rally one that we had that we were trying to rebuild this bunk right here. It's all rotted. So we just got the front phylon piece off. And then uh, we're working inside to free up everything inside, meaning the floor assembly. We'll take all these screws out and then we'll have to peel all this down. You can see how badly rotted that is. So we'll have to make a new, a new platform for it. So that's where we're that's where we're at on this one. So on the inside we're trying to free up the deck here. You can see how much water got in there. It's all rotted over on that side as well. Okay. On this other side here. So you can hear it back there. Yeah. yeah right there. Yeah. So we're gonna take all that out there. And the owner, he put this plywood down here, he thought that would be enough to take care of it. And then he put some of that trim that you see up in there and on the panel in the front there, put that on. But that didn't take care of the problem. So he said, we're going to, we'll rebuild the whole thing and get it done right. All right. We finally got the floor out of this uh, jamboree right here. We got the windows out, floor out. And that's what we're going to rebuild now. So this is the existing phylon. We try to keep this. This piece will go up underneath right there above the cab. We try to keep all that original. We'll just epoxy this on the back side and pull it back together. And we use the same on the outside here as it comes around that piece of fiberglass as well. So this way if he goes to get gas or camping or wherever he goes, someone is going to say, hey, what happened to your camper? Also, it keeps the costs down. So this is the old one right here that we pulled out. You can see how rotted it is. And then this is the one that the customer had put in. He thought this would stop the damage. You can see how rotted this is. This is the one he had in there. So we're just going to fix it the right way and be done with it and seal it up properly. So we'll uh, show you what we got over here as well. We're going to probably put something on there just to protect that you know Bondo or JB Weld or something just to conceal those holes so they don't look so bad I may even make some trim maybe out of aluminum or something so we'll see if we can do it to get that to look a little better than that's what the customer did is he put those holes in there to go through that plywood that I just showed you over there to kind of pin it in place so okay, this is our jamboree We've got the front framed in. We rebuilt this bottom here, the deck. So we've got all that. I'll show you what we got inside here. This is all our new framing, the new deck. We gotta just clean it up and put the trim back on there. 
we got insulation obviously to put in there but we got it all reframed back in there it all pocket screwed together like it should be so it's pretty sound and strong like I said get some insulation in there and put that back wall on there for him we'll do as much as we can and then he may want to do some of it himself he's he can do a lot of this himself anyways we'll see and put the windows in and that's where we're at right now well these are jamboree we've got the bunk all rebuilt we got all that done then on the inside we're gonna we talk to the customer they said they can get the rest of this it just saves them some money obviously we could do it but if someone else can and save them a few dollars we don't mind so he's got this all ready to go we'll go up on the roof and take a look there's our roof here get all our curves in place just finished cleaning everything down cover could use a good sandblast on I think we got everything all heat welded in the way it should the uh, I don't know if I showed you these lenses I don't really like these the way these lenses come down I think I showed a video on that before so what I did is inside if you take this lid off take the lid off inside is a counter flash piece if it ever did get any water coming in down that way it couldn't leak inside it's all sealed it would have to come out unless it filled up so much it would burp over possibly but it can't leak so I just redesigned the curbs so it would work the stand on the back everything else all double caulk down here two layers on there everything else is done looks good about ready to roll her out you can see the protective strips we've got going across for joints got those across there those shoes are ready to go this section here on the top if you look at the way the roof goes it comes out and then it drops down this way and then it actually drops down this way we are really arguing some of this roofing on here but overall I think it come out well considering how heavy this is this is a 60 mil commercial grade structured TPO it doesn't usually want to work we we had to work it quite a bit to get it down there to look presentable so I think it came out pretty well though <laughs> 